Okay, hi guys, my name is Grace and I'm here with another love reading. Just checking on to see where, um, what your current state of your connection at the moment. And um, see where, what you should do about the situation oh, and what are they doing about the situation. Okay, so I have three cards here. Um, card number one, card number two, and card number three. Okay, so pick and choose your card and I'll get, get on to your reading. Okay, so for people, pick card number one. For the current state of your connection, I have here Nine of Pentacles. So it looks like that people are currently not together. But um, this card is a good card to have. Maybe you yourself are currently enjoying your life, living out your passions. You're not too bothered about the connection at the moment. Even though you're asking about this, you're just checking in to see um, how they're feeling, how they're doing. But I feel like for most of you, you're doing fine. You're living your life, you're living out your passions. And you're enjoying, you're just enjoying basically. Um, you're realizing that it's not so bad not being in this connection and that b being single. So if that's you, then continue um, watching this reading. If that doesn't resonate, maybe it's not this reading's not for you. You can choose another card or um, the whole reading is not for you. So that's what I'm getting with this. This is someone who has achieved a lot of things. I feel like material achievements. And you, you're quite, you may be quite pleased about that. Maybe they are also pursuing to um, their um, achieving things in the material. And there are endings. Because of this um, focus on oneself. There are the blocks I feel like are being lifted and there are endings that makes way for the new beginnings. Yeah. For some of you you might be working or um getting into something that is involved involving animals or maybe you're just um spending time with your pets. Um, for some, it's um, spending time with nature. Maybe you're going on to like, I don't know, maybe traveling somewhere close to nature. Either way, I feel like um, both of you are in a good... This is a positive one for me. Because when you feel whole and you feel happy within your own self and they do feel the same thing, you both feel the same thing. It's like two people, two whole people coming together. And that's very beautiful. Not, not two people that are coming together to be able to complete each other. Because I believe that we're all already complete. Maybe that's um, the current um, lesson, the current learning, the current um, thing that you're both learning right now. So if you're currently not together with this person, it's not yeah, the end of the world. Um, like it's not totally like a bad thing at all. So let's see um, where their current mental space is at. I haven't picked out the cards yet. So where their current mental state is at the moment. Four of Cups. Their emotions, feelings at the moment, where are they currently at? Six of Cups in the Moon. Okay. How this person is seeing you.
Knight of Wands. How this person is seeing this connection. Their perspective. The Magician in the reverse. Okay, on your side, current mental space. Nine of Swords. Current emotional space, um, feelings towards this person. The Fool. How you seeing this per your person? Ace of Wands in reverse. You both seeing each other as the Wands card. There's a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. And how you seeing the con connection in your perspective? It's the Eight of Wands in reverse. So there's not a lot of communication that's happening at the moment. There's not a lot of connection that's happening at the moment, which is um, not surprising starting out with the Nine of Pentacles here. There, this person is a lot, you're dealing with is a lot on their feels, like um, because there's a lot of cups here, there's a lot of emotions. Um, yeah, even when they're thinking about things, they're not thinking about it like you with the swords card here, with a, um, which is a mental card. It's still the, an emotional card, even though it's a four of cups. I feel like they are currently within their, um, what they're thinking about is they want to establish, um, emotional stability within their own self okay they're thinking about um things that will fulfill them they're thinking about reflecting about those things so um if they seem distant to you at the moment that's because they're thinking they're they're currently on a reflection it's almost like they're hermit mode it's almost like they're they're meditating okay and there's some um, spiritual guidance available for them, but it's just, it's like they're thinking what's available, what's currently in front of them. It's not the most fulfilling for them at the moment. So I feel like they're thinking how they're going to be able to get this fulfillment, to get into this nine of pentacles, to, um, to have this fulfillment, not only on a material level, but also on a soul level. I feel like that's what they're thinking about. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if, if, if they're thinking about you. I'm not seeing really like um, a connection. I feel like if ever they think about you with the Four of Cups here, they probably think that if you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy and you're living your life, that's what it looks like to them at least. Um, they feel like they will not, you will not really um, reciprocate to them. Or accept them or something like that that's what they're they're sensing at least and um, where your current mental state is at the nine of swords although you're in this nine of Pentacles energy I feel there's still some some things that are worrying you okay um, that, that's probably why you clicked on this reading like um you're worrying you're still feeling anxious about what's going to happen um and i feel like that's because of attachments okay all the suffering that you're feeling within this connection when you think about your connection because you're fine i feel like your life is fine it's just that when you think about this connection you're feeling anxious about it it's because you need to reflect i feel like there are some attachments on to what will be the outcome of this connection what is supposed to be the outcome of this connection and you're not letting it just be okay when we let things be when we let um, things unfold on their own naturally 
That's how we get the best outcome. Okay? But there's something about this connection that's keeping you up at night. I feel like for some of you, you haven't expressed something. Maybe you haven't expressed your f truth fully. I feel like whatever this is, this might not be something that's connected to, you, to the connection. When you look at it, it's something that's connected to this connection. You're feeling anxious about it. You're feeling attached to this connection. Sometimes, sometimes you don't. So I feel um, it's something that the healing that you need to do within your own self. Okay? Because I'm seeing with them, even though they're not really connecting with you at the moment or maybe communicating with you, um, I feel like with their feelings, they're still thinking about you. They're still thinking about this connection. They're still feeling nostalgic about the past, what has happened, what took place. Okay? Even though... Um, they might not be they, they might not be really talking with the moon card here they're keeping it a secret they're on deep reflection this person so look within what is triggering this on you if you feel abandoned where in your life where in your where did you abandon yourself because it's um how you feel about this connection reflects on how you feel about this um, yourself. Okay, because I'm I don't feel like they feel anything like um, bad towards you or anything like that. They just think that how they see this connection as the mo at the moment is the magician card in reverse. So I feel like they just think that. It's just not yet the right time, or it's just not yet, um, um, yeah, I just feel like they feel that it's not yet the right time to manifest this connection, um, right now. Like, they just, although how they see you is a knight of wands, you're full of passion, and you're just taking action with your life, and you're an inspiration to this person. And I feel like they're sexually attracted to you too. If you're feeling that sexual connection, there is a lot of ones here, especially on your side. Maybe that's what you're keeping you up at night too. Um, but I feel like there's still some shadow things, shadow things, insecurities um, that you still need to deal with within your own self. Maybe that's why there is a pause in this connection. We have heard the full card in how you feel about this person. You're ready. You're almost there. You're willing to just have this fresh new start with this disconnection. But this person, I feel, I feel like they're not ready. They're not there yet. Okay? So it's up to you if you want to continue being in this connection with this person or you move on to someone else. That's, that's, um, that's entirely up to you. But I feel like you're not on the same um, you're not on the same, you're not vibing on the same energy because you just want a fresh start, okay? You're almost there. You're, you may be holding on to some of your comfort zones still, but you are willing to dive into the unknown, into this connection, but they're not quite there yet. How are you seeing this person? It's the ace of ones in reverse. And your intuition is right. They're now ready for this new beginning for you. So um, it's up to you to decide if you want to still be in this connection. And then we have here the eight of ones. Is, are they worth it? Um, are you looking for some... If you're f not feeling fulfilled in this connection, are you looking for things to be fulfilled? Are you looking... Um, are you wanting to be fulfilled by another person or because um, you know in your own self that you can fulfill yourself on your own so 
if you're feeling attached to this person you need to reflect if you're looking at this person if you're needing this person to fulfill something to fulfill this void that you feel within your own self okay um how you seeing this connection you're seeing there's delays you're being impatient and um there's not a lot of communication that's happening at the moment with this eight of wands in reverse okay you want past movement and they know that but this person is in deep contemplation so what do you need to do about this what do you need to do about this what are they doing about this connection let's see what actions are will they take towards you or this connection at the moment let's see oh gosh a lot of cards i feel like they're building themselves up because this caught my attention although a lot of cards fell out um they want to build themselves up okay so they need to feel good enough they need to feel good within their own self they need to feel this is important to them to establish themselves maybe if they see you as really like um this nine of pentacles or um someone who established themselves someone who is in control they want to feel in control they want to feel balanced they want to have this material achievements and um what are they doing about this connection what is your person doing about this connection yeah balance that's what i'm talking about balance balancing within their emotions especially with this as i said they want emotional stability that's what they're thinking about that's what their thoughts are so it's not surprising that we have this balance here okay i feel like this person is also balancing um learning about the love that they're giving to themselves and the love that they're giving to other people and to you balancing the cups there and what else and again there's a spiritual guidance with this person what this person is doing is, is this person taking any action towards you no the, not at the moment yeah not at the moment we have here the seven of pentacles in upright yeah and um they're waiting they're waiting on the fruition of whatever they planned and they took action in the physical they're taking actions in the physical they took action in the physical they want to be this king of pentacles okay i feel like this king of pentacles is someone that is ready for a deep committed relationship they're not i feel like they feel they're not quite here yet so being in a commitment right now for this person is not something that they are thinking about okay because they want to be this this is like the husband that you want to this is the one that you want to marry the husband the balanced person this is the one that can um you know provide for you because they have their um their balance in the material but they're still waiting i feel for um the fruition of whatever it is that they planted whatever act um in the physical whatever they took action in they're still waiting for the um the material rewards and um yeah i feel like until then i don't feel like they're seeing taking any action towards your disconnection so let's see what's the advice for you what you should do at the moment in the meantime or um let's see what you should do about this connection ace of pentacles plant your seed yeah i feel like there's not a balance because they have the seven here and i have this um ace of pentacles and the six of pentacles is what's um i always do that so the six of pentacles is what in between the ace of pentacles and the six of pentacles so um the seven of pentacles so i feel like there's not a balance of giving and receiving in this connection so um i feel like that needs to be balanced if you're the one that's always giving to this person i feel like more likely you are um maybe that's why they're waiting for the for this material reward so that they be able to be this king of pentacles and give back to this connection 
it back to you. Plant your seeds. Start this venture. Start this something that... Um, this is something that will be long term. This is something that will fulfill you long term. And you know that start this project grounded in the physical. Okay. What is your advice? What do you need to do? Ace of Cups in reverse. Again, the Aces for me talks about Ace talks about um your one yourself focusing on oneself so advice for you is to focus on your own self don't um don't find fulfillment from the outside or from another person or from from this situation from this connection find the fulfillment within you okay self-love again self-love final card is the nine of wands so i feel like you've been through a lot and you're getting to the end okay i feel like you're almost there you just need to push through no one can save you other than yourself If you f feel it, it's hard, you're almost at the completion, okay? Just push a little bit. You're almost in the completion. This is also about boundaries. I feel like you set your walls too high. That you're not being open or letting um, people help you or be in, in your life. It's okay to accept help from other people and to connect with other people. But you're the only one that you can save, that can save yourself in this whatever situation that you're in. I feel like you have a lot of material achievements but you're just looking for something that will fulfill your soul there's still this something that's missing in your life there's still this i feel like this void okay and it's you're the only one that can fulfill that so that's your reading i hope this helped thank you so much for watching for more in-depth readings for a personal reading all my details are down below just email me and i'm sending you love and light love you okay so for people pick card number two this is your reading um what's the current state of your connection is the nine of cups there are some some endings endings of the cycle wish fulfillment is i feel like it's soon it is very soon will happen, this wish fulfillment. Um, <laughs> there is still a lot of reflection on both sides. Is this the right thing to do? And I feel like you're both seeing each other as a mirror to each other. So that whatever it is that you're triggering, um, you're being triggered by... Um, on the other person they show you your blockages and you show them their blockages for healing I feel like I feel very calm there's a lot of calm in this connection there's not a lot of doubt okay you don't have any doubt with this person they also don't have any doubt about you there's a lot of um, cultivating inner peace or getting into that inner peace. Cycles, endings, things are settling. It feels like, um, it just feels like things are falling into place for this connection. 
still this 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 card nine is is still a cup of solitude so i don't feel like you're quite you're there yet but i don't feel like you're currently together even though you're currently together maybe you're both in the perplexion but i feel like you're connecting on a deeper level on a deep spiritual level so let's see that's how deep is the love <laughs> and let's see um where their mental space at currently when it comes to you or let's see what where your person's mental space is currently at right now yeah getting out of this nine of swords energy that's good getting clarity getting peace um that's good um feelings their feelings towards you this person's feelings towards you oh my god ace of cups what more card do you want when you are asking for the feelings of the other person this is big this i feel they think you're the one in there's just this spiritual connection that they can't deny and i feel like they're more open their heart is open their heart is open for this connection okay i don't know if you're speaking or anyone's speaking or anyone's communicating at the moment but if ever they want to communicate that's what they want to tell you like here's my heart you have my heart something like that wow wow there's a lot of cycles a lot of endings wow <laughs> let's see um your mental space t towards this person queen of swords oh okay you're getting out of on a defense mode being defensive and you're leaving your truth queen of swords you're just not hesitating you're not hesitant at all you just say your truth you're very straightforward um let's see with your feelings towards this person i want to get the cards first before speaking your feelings towards this person justice balance okay i feel like you're a no nonsense um no bullshit kind of person um you don't want to take any you don't take any bs you're very empowered look at how you're just holding a sword you're living in your in integrity this is my truth you're ending um cycles maybe karmic cycles with the justice card also um yeah maybe that's the cycle that you're both ending whatever this might represent for you um for some you might be in another connection that what they call karmic that's what i'm getting um or maybe they are too but they're getting out of this ace of cups you're getting out of this defensive mode of explaining yourself you realize i don't have to explain this connection how i'm feeling to any person at all their opinions it's not like their opinions doesn't matter but their opinions yeah doesn't matter because um what matters is how you feel and you're just going for it you're just leaving your truth so that's why i say you're very empowered you're be you're in balance let's see how you say um how they see you and how they see the connection Just a card of how they see you and how they see how they see you how they see the connection how they see the connection with you oh okay four of 
ones in reverse. I'm getting like a twin flame soulmate vibe from this connection. So if you resonate with that. Just putting it, that out there. Let's see how they see, how you see this person and how you see the connection. Yeah, getting out of conflict. You don't want you don't want to deal with this any any conflict at all anymore. These people around you, there's a lot of people around you. They they have different opinions, but you don't wanna you don't wanna fight anymore. You know you just had enough and you just want to, um you know, <laughs> King of Swords came up, and you just want to. Uh, just be in integrity and set your boundaries basically. Is this how you see the connection? And you have the king and queen of um in this spread, so I feel like but it's both on your side, so I feel like you're being in balance within your own self. You um there's a balance in the masculine and um feminine aspect of yourself and you're just living your truth. And you've transformed. Well, how you see this connection? Is that how you see the connection? I'm, I'm quite confused if the King of Swords is... is that, okay. Card fell out. And I've got the High Priestess in reverse. Again, the card... Another card that talks about balance. I feel like how you see this connection, you rec recognize the, the um you recognize the your connection, the spiritual connection with this person. Okay? But I feel like you're more on your approach towards this connection is more on that's because you just want to live your truth. Your approach is more on a logical, practical way. Okay? So this spiritual things is fine for you like it's good but at the same time you want to establish in this connection practically um in the physical and maybe you have a deep mental connection with this person i'm getting like um telepathic kind of connection with this person maybe when you communicate with this person you see, um, you're both thinking of the same thing. Something like that. There's a synchronicity within the patterns of your thinking with this person. Yeah, it's not just a spiritual for you, this connection. It's also in a mental and intellectual level. Okay, I feel like you're very, very like intelligent and... You want the person who doesn't o only connect with you spiritually, emotionally, but also mental and intellectual level. Yeah, <laughs> you're just done. We're just done with like people, society, out um, and all those things. You just um, are living your truth now. How they see you is the five of swords. Sometimes you may be, you may get into the screen of king and swords so much that you might, you know, um, communicate, communicate and end up hurting other people or end up like hurting this person. Um, I just feel like, yeah, because you express your truth and they say truth is a double side sword. I feel like <laughs> they cannot defeat you in terms of like, you know, when you're talking about um, something intellectual, because I feel like you like a lot of intellectual stimulation 
and they cannot beat you in like i don't know like arguments and all those things not really arguments but when you're like you you do have two different views about things you always like are victorious and um you always like you stand your ground and in and you um you know exp- stand on your own views i feel that's what i'm getting what else yeah cuz i feel like you don't hold back like with the two of swords and being defensive and not expressing you express that's how they see you and i feel like they admire you because of that although this five of swords usually is a challenging card i feel like you're someone that likes the challenge i'm not seeing this as a negative card at all at first i was like why five of swords they see you as a very deep person like when you say something you say something but i feel like it's because you've reflected about it so much you're very deep yeah you just don't say your own view without um i feel like you've already reflected about it so much that so you can always like defend your views on things Um, how they're seeing this connection they haven't quite there yet they haven't um, they're not seeing yet the foundation in this connection they i feel like they want this home with you but you're not you both not quite there yet but the fact that this card is here is that this could happen this is the possibility that they're seeing for this connection but you're not quite there yet they also say this is a twin flame card so as i've said you might resonate with that but they want a celebration with you they want to build a foundation with you they maybe they want a home with you that's also what i'm getting with this this is how they're seeing this connection but you're not quite there in the celebration yet there are some cycles that are endings anyway let's see what they're doing about this connection okay what their action they're going to take towards you ace of wands they're gonna take action in, in terms of having this new beginning with you but they're not really speaking about it with the moon card Let's see um they're trusting their intuition they're trusting their intuition these two cards are both spiritual cards but they want this new beginning with you maybe they want to offer you a new beginning but at the moment they're on the with the moon here i feel like there's not a lot of action as in taking action in the physical about this there's still some contemplation what else what action are they taking about uh, on this connection oh my gosh this person is in love with you for sure for sure ace of cups two of cups wow and we have the moon <laughs> I don't know if they're I don't know if they're giving it as a secret. Like why? Why do you keep this as a secret? Why this person will keep it this as a secret? Maybe they're waiting for things to end in their life, maybe getting out of another connection, something like that. Or I don't know. But they want to be together with you. Definitely this person loves you. They see you as their soulmate. They see you as the one for them. So hopefully they will take action soon and offer this um new beginning with you. But that's what they're wanting to do at least. Okay? And they're contemplating maybe about how they're um how to go about this. I don't know. I'm not sh- I'm not sure if this person have ever like really expressed this to you yet. But I feel like hopefully soon because these feelings are strong. 
for sure you can hold it in for for a really long time. I feel like the physical things, what's happening in the physical, in the 3D, is maybe what's stopping this person to express this to you, but this is what they want to do, express this to you. Let's see what's the advice for you. <laughs> just, they just want to be together with you, like hug you and keep moving forward that's the advice for you in your life keep expressing yourself living in your integrity um, what else is advice for you okay queen of cups open your heart learn to receive and accept the love that you deserve you deserve this okay sit with your emotions your on the mental okay on the mental level you're fine you have the king and queen of swords but the advice for you is to it's not it's not weak to be vulnerable and sit with your emotion and express your emotions so express your emotions be open about your emotions express the love be open to the love okay that's the queen of cups and um, balance balance in terms of emotions I feel like the spirit's wanting you to work on your emotions, emotional balance. Okay? I feel like you're getting setting your boundaries and it's fine, it's good. Um I feel like you get out um of connections or situations that's not serving you anymore, so that's good. And this is helping you balance out yourself in the emotional department. Okay? So a lot of sitting with your own emotions that's what um and obviously keep moving forward in your life but yeah it's good i like this connection soon you both will have this wish fulfillment this is nine of cups is also the wish fulfillment getting what you both desire so that's your reading if you want any more in-depth readings all my details are down below and I'm sending you love and light. Thank you so much for watching and I love you. Okay. Hi people, pick card number three. Let's see what's the current state of your connection. How deep is this love? The lovers, wow. Current state of your connections, making decisions. Making decisions. The lovers card is also about making decisions. With the lovers card, especially on this deck, I see as a spiritual connection. So you have a deep spiritual connection with this person remember there there are different levels to love at least what i read last night um and there's a sexual emotional intellectual mental level then spiritual level so you're like more on the top band of how deep the love is um i don't feel like you're currently together though or you're making decisions to be together. Def definitely you have a connection with this person. And, then see the, and I've seen 11. Maybe it's a soulmate connection. Possibly. If you resonate with that term. Um, telepathic connection also. Sensing that. And at the dream time. This card is always very dreamy to me. You, maybe this person dream about you. Do you dream about this person? Um, and there is a higher power involved in this connection. Sometimes you may think this connection is impossible. I'm also sensing that. How can this be possible? How can this be possible in the physical? Yet you feel the connection in the, anyway. And I feel like your your person is feeling that too. Whether they're being upfront about it, honest about it, or honest within themselves and their feelings. Rest assured they feel that too, whatever you're feeling. I don't know if they they haven't quite made sense of it, like what this is about, or if you ever did made sense of it, like um, 
but I feel like you know and you know you love this person you do love this person that's what you know at least and you know be watching this connection um, this reading if you don't have any feelings for this person anyway so that's that the current state of this connection the current connection let's see um this person's um their mental state towards you when they think about you where their mental state is at oh oh okay we have here the five of pentacles in reverse and the hero font okay i feel like this means leaving something out to be able to be together and have this commitment because uh, see the hero font is a commitment card could also marriage maybe leaving a marriage or being married to you they're thinking about that but at the same time they still have their ego and like i feel like society is still on the way of their thinking about marriage and commitment and how they view marriage and commitment um yeah but i feel like they're healing the wounds about sense of feeling feeling abandoned and sense of lacking something yeah especially in the material in the physical that's what i'm getting i feel like this person also is getting out of their old life to be able to get into their new life they're leaving their old they're leaving the old the, this person's feelings towards you okay five of wands in reverse and i always did not see that the knight of cups they want to offer this love at least that's what they're they want that's what they're feeling they have love for you okay i feel there's a lot of emotions here it's definitely this person has love for you they're just resting they're on a resting phase see this person they're drinking the cup because they need to nourish themselves they need to learn to love themselves they're learning to love themselves by leaving the past behind leaving what's not serving them anymore behind this is another connection this is a situation and maybe a job situation for some it doesn't or a family it doesn't have to be another connection but you know you know your story you know your story and um you possibly know what this person is going through at the moment too at least um how um on what what you're seeing or what you're feeling but yeah um Maybe if they have been in conflict with you, they don't want to be in conflict with you anymore with this five of ones in reverse. They don't want to fight anymore. Okay, they just want to love. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, yeah. Um, these are always to me other people. What does this represent to you? What does this other people? Um... They don't want to listen to other people anymore. They don't want to fight other people also. Maybe they think they have a competition to you when it comes to you, to your heart. Um, I don't th I don't think that they want to fight. But at the moment, they're I feel like they're in a period of like regeneration and making sure they're fine, self love, nourishing themselves. But eventually, they want to offer this cup of love they have love towards you that's yeah they won't think of a commitment with you if they don't have this love towards you so definitely we're sure of that the knight of cups offering love that's that okay let's see on your side um your mental state towards this connection or towards this person your mental state I'm thinking about okay page of wands in reverse i feel like you're someone who always maybe go away or travel or something like that or you moved away from this person and you don't want to um, move away anymore you might have looked for 
the one or this person in other people, but you don't want to do that anymore. And you want, you're wanting a mature, more mature, more grounded relationship now at the moment. Yeah. It's not fun anymore for you to try new things, be with different people maybe, or just, you know, try new things, um, try different things and like move on to one connection on an, or, or um, one connection after the other or one situation after the other, whether it's, it's an, um, in another romantic connection or not. Maybe it's a fling or maybe it's, uh, maybe it's not about love or being in connection with other people, but maybe you're always changing, you're always moving. Um, I'm thinking if this is maybe a job, you don't, you want something grounded now. That's what you're thinking at least. Or at least with this person, you want something grounded. This person is like, I feel like it's changing you on a deeper level. Um, maybe for the first time in your life, you found someone that you're considering to be on a serious um, connection with. Let's see um, your feelings towards this person. This person has feelings towards you. Let's see. How do you feel? Okay. You're looking at um, having a fresh new start with this person. Fresh new start, a new life. Now, now, I was talking about a new life here. And I feel like you're on the same page. You're wanting a new life also. And you want to express your emotions. Um, yeah. People might say it's tricky. But you're getting out of your comfort zone now. And you're ready to do that. Um, people, people might discourage you. But you're like... You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to get into this unknown. And you're almost there. Yeah? Totally out of your comfort zone, I'm getting. Let's see um, how this person see you. And how this person see the connection with you. In their perspective. Put this in the middle a bit. <laughs> how this person... see you Ooh. <laughs> we have the lover's card again again and it's making me if you see you're not seeing me but i'm like smiling right now because why wow it started from the lovers and now they're seeing you they're seeing your their like counterpart this is my partner. This is um I want this is what I who I want to be partnered with in life. And there is a deep spiritual connection. And they're trying to make this maybe they're trying to make a decision about this. Wow. I mean yeah, this is like someone I want to possibly share my life with. That's how they're seeing you love if not the love of their life oh gosh how they're seeing the connection <laughs> the king of cups and the star this is a wish for them yeah this is their wish and they have hope towards this connection okay they were able to get out, maybe before they're in this energy, they were able to get out of this energy of confusion, anxiety, sleepless nights, not knowing what to do. Now, they're trying to be this king of cups and balance themselves emotionally. Yeah, as seen with this regeneration and focus on self-love. They know that that's the key to be able to be in this connection, to be able to be with you. Okay? They're, yeah, they detox. 
getting rid of self-care again detox getting rid of what's not serving you anymore in your um in the physical first in the physical and also in the spiritual soul level that's not serving you anymore getting rid of that um yeah trying to be in balance emotionally but they have hope for this connection this is their wish that's how they're seeing this a lot a lot of emotions yeah sometimes maybe they they might feel attached to this connection if they're not um emotionally balanced so i feel like they're aware of that so they're trying to balance themselves how are you seeing this person change yes as i said this is the person that have changed you and maybe meeting this person might have changed your life forever and you know maybe that has happened already or or you know that that's what is the possible but yeah this person change <laughs> if not turn your world upside down made you get out of your comfort zone yeah made you transform triggered you from a deep level it's not always positive maybe it's not always like i think i mean when they say positive it's not always like all roses Maybe there's some thorns, there's some challenges that you've been through in the towards this transformation. But either way, you've transformed. And how you're seeing this connection with this person is the Page of Swords. So you're just observing, you're researching more about this connection. Like, what is this about? Or maybe you're observing them on like the internet, social media. Um, you're sort of serving in you're just trying to find out more information that's what I'm getting you're studying okay you're studying this connection you're very curious about this this definitely had your curiosity still we have the page of swords here you know you have a lot still a lot of um, there's a lot of things that you still need to learn maybe one of them is expressing your truth and communicating your truth yeah but you're very 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 careful about that um let's see what this person will how what action will this person take what they will do or what they want to do what they will do what's the action that they will take or they're taking right now king of swords in reverse hmm. five swords in reverse and queen of wands okay interesting i don't feel like they're taking any action towards you at the moment yeah as i said they're on a path of regeneration I don't know why I keep saying regeneration, like um, that specific term, but self-healing, yeah? They don't feel like quite confident enough to express their emotions. So I don't know about you, if you are be, will be patient to be able to wait, wait it up. I don't really recommend waiting, but it's up to you how you feel. Um, but although they feel this deep connection with you and they want they have these feelings towards you they haven't they're not quite there yet in terms of maybe on their mental state they need to work on their mental state on the practical side of things because this is more a spiritual and emotional level but on the mental level they need to work on that there's still some challenges i feel like maybe it's something to do with their upbringing like with the society thing with the hero fund here Although this, you're the one that maybe they, they don't they want to get married with, maybe there are things that are, um, maybe their ego. There's still some conflict in their mind. That's why they're not able to communicate this and express this, and they're not able to live their truth yet with the King of Swords in reverse. 
the screen of swords, they don't feel confident enough to trust their intuition. Although the intuition is telling them, when they tap into their intuition, it's telling them, yes, this person is the one. Yes, this connection is the one for you. But in their mental state, there's a conflict in the mental and the emotional. Okay? And also, it comes with their own insecurity of not being good enough for this connection and for you. So, I'm not seeing any action taken towards you or um, communication, at least at the moment when you find this reading. Um, yeah. Me, I feel like the way they, they feel and the way they express or talk to you, if ever they talk to you, it's different. Maybe sometimes they may be too harsh on you. Or maybe they're, sometimes they may be cruel to you. And you're like, what this is this reader talking about? This person has feelings for me. But when they talk, talk to me, they, they, block me um, they block me off. Or um, yeah, I feel like when they talk to you, they, they're on their ego. If ever they do that, they be cruel to you or harsh to you. Or say harsh words. Yeah. Wow. This person is in love, but they're not admitting it. I don't know what to do about this person, but at least they are aware of it. They're trying to balance themselves emotionally. They still need to be able to live their truth. I don't know what about society that this love or connection might not be accepted or they feel it might not be accepted by people. But let's see, what's the advice for you? What do you need to do? What you should do about this connection? Queen of Pentacles. Too much nurturing. Too much fixing this person. Don't try to fix this person. Focus on the nurturing to yourself. Focus on being balanced within your own self. Okay? I feel like it's just mothering. Let this person do their thing. The tower card in reverse. And the devil card. Okay. Sometimes the devil card and the lover's card is like one and the same in a way. But this is when um, there's some sort of attachments. Okay. I feel like you need to heal some sort of attachment when regard to this person. These cards are very dark in terms of like facing your shadow side. Yeah, it's this is not this what I'm telling you. It's not something that is surprising to you. It's not something that is unexpected. Something like that because of tower card in reverse. Yeah, this person might have um, turned your life around. This person's triggering you. Um, I feel like you've been there on your darkest, darkest moment and you've been to it like a deep shit and i don't know an, another way to describe that but on the black bottom but um you need to be balanced in the physical that's what you need to do yeah that's what you need to focus on right now don't focus on fixing this person let this person heal on their own because they're healing okay for you, for you, you need to heal these certain attachments, these addictions, okay? Maybe this is sexual, or maybe this is other things. Whatever this addiction is about, you know that within yourself. If you think you don't know that, you need to reflect and tap into your um, into yourself and go within. Um, yeah, but that's what I'm seeing here. Focus on building yourself up in the physical. Focus on your career. Focus on nurturing yourself. Not giving to other people so much. Yeah? It's okay to give to other people as much as you're giving, to, as long as you're giving to yourself. Okay? But this, this card is telling me really to you need to face your shadows. What else did you need to heal at the moment? Okay. Because I'm seeing at least this person is not yet like at least ready to fully express. They still need to heal their ego too. 
so that's the advice for you so thank you so much for um watching this reading i'm sending you love and light if you need more in-depth readings personal readings you want to ask questions all my details are down below and i love you <laughs>